Okay, here we go. So um, I am recording one more editorial for one more up, for one more update on my scientific blog, discoversocialsciences.com. Is if you have been following this blog for some time, you know that since January, since end January this year, I have been using my blog, and uh, indirectly I have been using you, my viewers and my readers as what my son calls rubber ducks, so as a hypothetical audience uh, speaking to whom and writing to whom helps me clarify my own ideas about my investment strategy in the stock market. So I explain quickly the context of my today's update. The context is twofold. First of all, I am running a course of Fundamentals of Finance and so this content is very much addressed to my students. There is an educational part uh, in this update where I show you how to calculate the weighted average rate of return on a portfolio of investment positions. So it is like basic mathematics, which you will find in this update. And uh, generally, I am sharing my thoughts with a broader, uh, like a broader audience of viewers and readers. Uh, on what is happening in the stock market right now, because I, I can see it pretty much all over the world under the impact, under the influence of that COVID-19 epidemic. Uh, but it is particularly visible in Poland, in the Polish stock market. There is like a crazy rush on the stock of biotech companies and the companies active in the market of medical equipment, of medical supplies. I have even built a, a portfolio of investment positions in such companies in Poland right now. And long story short, as for this morning, uh, so as for the morning April the 7th, 2020, at uh, around 9 a.m., so before the day of trade started, uh, I had a rate of return on my investment of 188% over less than two weeks. It is crazy. It is almost madness. And um, as I was writing my update today, all over the day, uh, as uh, and as I was following uh, the price quotes in the Warsaw stock market, I could see that those prices are being corrected down. They are being revised down. There was like a big plunge right in the morning, right after 9 a.m., after the, the opening of the market. Subsequently, those prices climbed back up a little bit, yet there is a visible revision of the market downwards. So I wonder if it is a speculative bubble that is just bursting or it, is it just a technical revision of the market? A uh, technical revision would be uh, would be much needed because it is uh, the market uh, at least that segment the biotech segment uh, looks like overheated. So in this update, I am starting to develop. I am starting to wrap my mind around the idea uh, that this interest in biotech businesses from the part of investors like me. Uh, might push the whole sector, the whole biotech and medical sector in Poland towards a new path of development. Because as I look at it, uh, if they followed the growth in their market capitalization with something like a corresponding growth in their capital base, in their assets, it would mean that the assets of those biotech companies would practically double. It would mean a, a sudden burst of new possibilities in, in that sector. And by the end of the written part of that update, uh, I am developing a thought that uh, uh, what if I were the manager of one of those companies I am investing in right now, Biomaxima, uh, which by my calculations, if it were to follow the growth in its market capitalization, 
should increase its capital base like by seven times, more than seven times. If I were the CEO of that company, would I know what to do with such a big amount of money suddenly pumped into my business? That's a question both for students of finance and for the students of management or for the students of second year uh, with whom I have that course international management. Imagine that you are in such a position that you are in the top management of a company which suddenly experiences a crazy interest from the part of stock market investors. What do you do? How do you react? How do you consume that increased interest? How can you give it some follow up? By the way, I forgot to say in the beginning of that video, uh, as it is a classical update uh, on my research blog, on the blog Discover Social Sciences, um, below the video, in the description box, you will find a link to my blog. So it is the link discoversocialsciences.com. And uh, by clicking the link, you will enter the blog, the site of my blog, and there you will find a written update uh, which corresponds with the same title to that video that you are watching right now. Okay. So I return to this idea. If there is a sudden inflow of capital, uh, not just in the stock market, but in the capital base of those biotech companies in Poland, huh? What if they get pumped with that new money? What could it give? What, uh, what could happen if uh, the assets of those companies suddenly doubled in value? Hmm? That's an interesting question. This is a question how quickly can managerial structures, how quickly can business structures absorb real capital, like real investment into real productive assets. It is interesting both in the context of understanding the financial markets and, and in the context of understanding management. Here uh, now I am addressing most specifically what I say to the students of the second year of management. You probably know that big corporate structures can be considered as internal capital markets, uh, where capital gets distributed among many possible projects of development. What kind of development projects can be initiated in a company uh, when there is a sudden inflow of cash into the balance sheet, into the capital base, following a growing interest uh, that manifests itself in the stock market, in the growing price of shares in the stock market. Okay, so try to think about it. Try to have fun with those social sciences as usually. That would be about all in this update. Uh, so I invite you warmly to follow my blog, discover social uh, discoversocialsciences.com. And, well, have fun and have a good day. Bye.